All right, in this video, we are going to talk about fonts. Um, in, I'm going to run you through how to set up your fonts um, in your WordPress theme. And then I'm also going, the first bit of the video is just going to be talking about uh, deciding on your fonts. So you, you can just go and I'm going to put these links in the video underneath. There's a really good article here that discusses some of the best uh, Google font, Google web fonts, which is what we're going to be using. Uh, we have a, there's hundreds of different hundreds of fonts to choose from. Um, we just need to realistically you would choose two fonts um, to use throughout your website and then you can use uh, different variations of those fonts. Um, whether they're they're light or bold, uh, so you will have a fair bit to play with. But um, it's nice to decide on the two, and the two you want to decide on is one for your headers, anything like this and like this header, and then one for your body and the copy. So one for all this kind of text here. So uh, I'll let you guys read through this article, and then there's also another link in here which is just going to go to Google Fonts which you can go and play with in here and um, go and have a look at which fonts you may want to use. Uh, so you can kind of pull it up. I wouldn't recommend you, it, it just depends on the look and feel you're going for. Um, so again, have a look at this article. Uh, there is a extension that I use that I'm going to share with you guys. It's called CSS Viewer. Okay, so once you install this CSS viewer in Google Chrome, you can go to any website and you go, oh, I really like that font. Uh, I wonder what that is. You can come up here and then pull up and it's going to tell you exactly what font it is at the top there. Font family, the size, and then the font weight and height. So if you were to go, basically, if you are funnel hacking someone, you can go ahead and if you wanted to have the exact same text as them um, or font, you can go ahead. So Railroad is a very, very popular one. Um, as you can see, Railroad. So all their headings are going to be in basically the same font. So uh, handy little tool there. So <clears throat> you can use that. Now, once you've decided on your two fonts, jump back over to your uh, website. First of all, we are going to uh, go and assign those fonts. So what we can do is just go and visit our site. Um, so it's a bit of a bit of a two part. Um, so come up to, you know what, come up to customize. And then in the customize, oh, I kind of did this backwards, but um, I'll just quickly show you. So you know what, I'm just going to go back to uh, go ahead and create a test page, actually. So go into, you can go to new, well, I've already created one, so, but you can just go up the top there and go new, or you can just come to pages on the side, view all your pages, or add a new. I'm just going to view mine because I set this up earlier, um, and then I'm just going to open that with the page builder. So here we are. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set myself up with um, five lines, or sorry, seven lines of text. So I'm just going to grab the heading first. Nope, sorry. I am going to come up here to the top here. I'm going to go to uh, UABB modules because they're the ones I like the best. I'm going to go headings. Um, and then as you can see, I'm just going to use the default heading, but underneath behind it, I'm going to put h1 which is going to be heading one okay and then i need to go to the typography and i'm just going to change that text color to black okay so that's h1 oh what i need to do sorry is i need to assign that so click back on h1 uh, go to typography and up here you have html tag okay so we are going to make that H1. It's going to be huge, but that's the biggest heading I have. Okay, so we have six different heading sizes and HTML tags that we can use. I'll get in, I'll talk about a little bit about the HTML tags, but this is a really, really good way to um, make sure that all your headings 
are the same size, that, that the text is the same size. So we can kind of just assign it a um, HTML tag heading. So the, for the first one, I'm just gonna go H1, and then I'm gonna save that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this box. So I'm just gonna come up here, third from the left, um, duplicate that. Then what I need to do is go down, open that, typography, I'm gonna make that heading two. And I'm gonna change that one to a two just so I can visually see it. And we're just gonna repeat this step until we have all six. Now this is a little bit tedious. Um, don't forget to change the actual typography HTML tag to H3. So they should start uh, should start to look like different sizes. Um, and I'll explain why we're doing this in a second. Uh, H4. And don't forget to change it to H4. Now, like I mentioned, this is a bit tedious, but once you set this up once, you never have to do it again. And it's going to save you a ton of headaches and time when you're making new pages. And it's just going to give that consistent look over your whole site. Okay, and then we have, okay, so for the last one here, I want you guys to do H6, okay? But then I also want you to just copy this and then put this in the description down the bottom and then just put a P for a paragraph. Um, you may have to just change the color, the color size. Uh, so go to typography, make sure you make the heading six and then underneath is going to be your description. It's going to be default to um, paragraph. So just hit your color. That's why you can't see it because it's just white. So there we go. Okay, so go ahead, done, publish that. As you can see, my H5 is a little funky. Um, they're kind of backwards, so we can fix that up. And then what we need to do is go up to the top left and we're going to customize. Okay, so if you've already picked out your two fonts, uh, this is where you're going to select it and uh, it's going to mimic that font across all your different headers. So um, if you've already done something, just keep in mind it's going to change. So if you've already created stuff, it will change it. But um, this is why I'm getting you guys to do it uh, at the beginning now. So typography. Okay, so we're going to go to base typography. And then font family, okay? That you're just gonna drop that down and you're gonna find the font that you decided to do. And this is going to be, um, this is for the body, okay? So this is for all your text um, copy. Not All these are headings, so this would be for the body here at the bottom. Um, so select what you wanna use for all that, for, basically for the paragraphs. Um, so select that there. Now, as you can see, this is fairly big. Um, I have this set to 24 on a desktop, and I believe I have it. Okay, I'm just I let um, I'm letting the theme choose what size it is on a mobile. So you can go in and change this. So we're looking at the bottom one here because it's the paragraph. So if I go ahead and change that from 24 to say 12, you'll notice that it changes. Okay, so what you want to do is just Pick the size which is good for you. Uh, 24 is quite large and it's going to depend on your font as well. Some fonts are bigger, some are smaller. So that's going to depend on that. But, um, you know, keep in mind with everyone being, not everyone, but the majority of your traffic coming on a mobile device, <clears throat> you want to make sure that text is nice and big and easy to read. Um, so change it there, uh, the 24. Uh, the line height is if you, so I would just leave them as the default. So that's going to be how much um, space is between each line. So just leave that as it is. And then the heading underneath, pick your heading that you've decided, the font of the heading, and then the weight. You can change it. You can go to inherent, um, but I you can change it to normal or bold or semi-bold, depending on what your actual font that you choose Um what weight it actually comes with. Not Some of them have a lot more weight. 
as you can see, I think this one, no, it just has a two. So, um, yeah. And then you can text transformation. So every uh, capital, you can capitalize, uh, or it's just going to be lowercase. I leave it in uppercase. Um, so that's kind of it. Once you've done that, then just publish. And then click back and then go to the one underneath, which is header. Nope, sorry. It is content. So this is where you see your H1. And the only thing you're doing here is setting the size. Uh, font family, the weight and all that, it's just going to be inherited from where we just set it up. So don't worry about changing the font family or the, size, or the um, weight. All we're doing is changing the size. And this is where it's going to be up to you to kind of decide what you want. Um, so like I mentioned, you know, this theme that I'm using is quite heavy on text. So it's really important to have that like dominating text and dominating uh, headings. So you can just go ahead and change these. Uh, you can use these if you want, 120, uh, 80. So like I mentioned, the reason I put that tag on the, uh, when we set them up is if you go ahead and go 70, you can see it changing, okay? So it's just so you can visually see, all right, well, I'm gonna set that up um, and it should just progressively get a little smaller. Now, I know H6 and H5 are set up a little backwards. I'm gonna actually leave mine like that because when I designed the template, I might have um, I might have put those, I don't wanna just go ahead and break something. You know what, you guys have this already. I'm gonna go ahead and change it. So, um, so what I would probably do is just switch these around. So this is now gonna be 24. And then this one would be 18. Um, so we have this one can be, doesn't seem to be changing. Okay. And I'm sure I set that up for a reason because you do want variation. It doesn't have to be bold, bold, bold. And then you obviously may want to have some which the font um, weight is like much lighter than the others. And then down the bottom is your paragraph. And if you want to change that, it, that's, you have to go back to uh, where we first set up this. So this is why I did it this way. It's a little time, you know, it takes, what, five minutes to do. But believe me, it's going to save you a ton of headache and um, figuring out, oh, what size was that header? And that is just going to help keep that consistency across your site. So I hope that helped and uh, highly recommend going and doing this before we do any editing.